What is going on, guys? Welcome back. And I mean welcome back. It's yesterday. We're time traveling right now, my friends. So a lot of you are going to hate to hear this, but I make my videos on Wednesdays and Sundays. So I just got done the Mad Knows Me a Championship belt and Positive Mad 21 videos. So King J Mace Gaming has not seen them yet. So he assumes that Clint Olenberg has blocked me on Twitter, not knowing that I'm actually the people's champ. And it would be wrong of Clint to block the people's champ in his game. In fact, Clint, you should be the one that hopefully packed my belt up today and sent it to me. However, I get this tweet sent to me, and to me, it shows everything wrong with this game and the logic and opinion that EA has of us as consumers. Now, there's some circular argument here, but I want you to understand the passive aggressiveness. If I'm allowed to participate, Clint, it's Twitter. If you're interjecting in a conversation, why are you asking? Now, they're discussing the quality of Madden. And he then asks how we expect them to measure fun. Understand, this is the thought process of someone working on Madden. Clear as day. It's not going to get more in your face than this, guys. If revenue does not matter, our played does not matter, number of total players does not matter, what should be used instead to judge a game's quality or gauge a game's quality? He tried to get fancy on us. Any game. So let me go inside the, the mindset of a, of a game developer at EA Sports. The three ways you judge a quality game. Number one, how much money does it make? Number two, how long does someone play it where they can pay us money? And number three, how many people that are willing to pay us play it? This is such a poor argument. This is such a poor judgment on your consumer. This is one of the most derogatory things you can say to a customer. Imagine if other industries tried this. Imagine if Waffle House came out and said, we have the best steaks in America. We are judging the best steak by the number sold. So Ruth's Chris has nothing on us. Imagine if McDonald's came out and said, we have the best cheeseburger in America. We know this because more people come to our restaurant than John's Burger Shop down the street. So we have a superior product. That is this logic. First and foremost, you're excluding the fact that you have the NFL license and that people loyal to the sport will purchase a product because it is officially licensed. That's why they put the little hologram on the game. So you essentially have the marketplace cornered to yourself. And you are now using the barometer of whether your game is good or not by how many people buy it or play it. That is a poor mindset. And to be completely honest, this is the mindset of someone that hasn't had a lot of actual jobs, hasn't worked for a lot of companies. Because if you work for four, five, six companies, you learn to not treat customers like this. If you've only you know, been an athlete and you've only worked at one company like EA Sports, you may be very programmed into their line of thinking. Sometimes that's good, sometimes that's bad. I've worked for great companies, I've worked for horrible companies. But I've learned how they interact with each other, and I've learned how they interact with customers. And you learn caring for a customer. You learn how a customer needs to be spoken to. You learn respecting the people that purchase your game or whatever you're making. And also how other competitors deal with that. This is one of the most derogatory things you could actually post. And the fact that he says it so passively, so matter-of-factly, astonishes me. He feels that we don't have the right to question his game and the quality of it. And if we do, he will simply tell us, well, since the game made a lot of money, a lot of people played it and they played it for a long time. Our opinion doesn't matter. That's what we used to judge how good the game is. Man. And again, you wonder why the game doesn't get better. Hang up and take the answer offline. The only thing that's going to go offline is this game. Because when people finally see how they treat us as customers and how they feel about their product, you're going to have a real hard time winning people over. In fact, 
you may only win people over the quality game, which is something you guys have struggled to put together for the past 10 years. Love to know your thoughts on this. Appreciate you checking out. You know I will be back. Well, I guess now you know the truth. It's a Wednesday or a Sunday, but I'll be back in the week with more commentary.